Hey, it's David Brown with the Sin Soil Guy, and today I'm going to share with you how J.P. Sears' video series, How to Be Ultra Spiritual, has helped me be powerfully true to myself. If you're like me, you go through life with this monkey on your shoulder who's constantly criticizing you and constantly questioning you and constantly making you doubt yourself and not believing you and uh, pushing you around, bullying you around and scaring you out and creating all this fear and anxiety and... What? What? Stop criticizing me. Okay, my videos are not as good as J.P. Sears. I'm progressing, I'm growing. Give me a break. Just get off my back. And so J.P. Sears is just being himself in a way that's using humor to break through the monkey mind. Being himself, his whole self, his best self, the range of what he can possibly be and feel and experience in life, and he wants that for us also. And so on one side, he's an emotional healing coach. And on the other side, he's an ultra-spiritual comedian. <laughs> Helping us laugh through our stress. <laughs> so realizing that to be whole and balanced, we also need to integrate the different aspects of ourselves. And for him, it's to be humorous and also serious. For you, maybe it'll be something else. But the idea of opening up and allowing ourselves to be that way, to be truly who we are, purely who we are in the world, that is powerful. It's like a permission slip he's given us to be able to open up to the different aspects of who we are. In my own work to provide emotional healing and growth to people, I fuse different elements into this method, this process, this lifestyle, this way of being, whether it's my live events, sensorial experiences, sensorial living coaching programs, or the way that I actually live my life that's true to me. And I'm bringing this to the world to be able to actually become more whole and balanced. You don't have to be just always serious. You don't have to be just only humorous. There's a definite depth of experience of life when you can actually dip into both and you can experience and open yourself to what each has to offer. This past year, I did two experiences which were almost diametrically opposed. I went to Burning Man on one side, the outdoor transformational festival where you dress up like crazy and you stay out all night and you do whatever you want. You be whoever you want to be. And on the other side, I went to the sensory deprivation really experience of a 10 day silent retreat, a Vipassana retreat. So you can have both tremendous depth and seriousness and then the other side, be a total showman, be comedic, be entertaining. And both of those actually make us the most whole and the most balanced to my heart. This is how we live a life we love. This is how we live who we are in the world in all different aspects of our world. But at least in our toolkit, we know we can go to these different parts of ourselves and change our, our pattern, pattern break it in unique ways that are not just trying to use your head. You get out of your head and you get into these different aspects and different parts of yourself. That's being whole and balanced. He asks us to consider that perhaps our ability to laugh at ourselves, to not take ourselves so seriously, Can you be? Can you be? is actually the key to our greatest spiritual growth. Okay, so I'm not as buff as J.P. Sears, but hey, I'm doing okay for a 52-year-old. <laughs> and I'm gonna laugh about it anyway. <laughs> so look me in the eyes, and you and me, let's make a deal. Let's not take ourselves too seriously, too often. You know when these moments are happening in your life. And to lean into the joy and the laughter and the smiling, and to let ourselves go, to get the monkey off the shoulder, and to get on with enjoying life. <laughs> Woohoo!